Rich from Rich TV Live, and I'm here to speak to you about TAT Lifestyle and Wellness, T-O-B-A-F in America and T-A-A-T in Canada. It's been a huge, huge winner for investors all over the world since it IPO'd at around 41 cents in Canada, currently at 262 in Canada, and just around $2 in America, 203 in America. And what I love about TAT Lifestyle and Wellness is that they are a growing company, a super hyper growth company. And I love super hyper growth companies that have enormous growth potential that are early stage. And they had some huge news today. Here it is. 60% of tobacco retailers who have carried TAT for three or more weeks have placed reorders. TAT Lifestyle and Wellness, T-A-A-T in Canada, T-O-B-A-F in America and 2-T-P-2 in Frankfurt, Germany, is pleased to announce that TAT became available to purchase at tobacco retail stores in Ohio. Approximately 60% of retailers who have carried TAT for three or more weeks have recorded at least once with several reorders being for a greater quantity than the first. Let's read that again. TAT is pleased to announce that after TAT became available to purchase at tobacco retail stores in Ohio, approximately 60% of retailers who have carried TAT for three or more weeks have reordered at least once. That is incredible results with several reorders being for a greater quantity than the first, which means they are liking the product and they want more of the product. This is huge for TAT. Additionally, the company has confirmed through its first distribution partner in Ohio that TAT has placed in approximately 1.4% of all convenience and gas station retail points of sale in the state of Ohio. So they are now in 1.4% of all major points of sale in Ohio. They have broken 1% penetration. This reorder rate for TAT could be attributed to sustained interest in the product from legal age smokers with the management of several tobacco retailers indicating there has been a pattern of repeat customers who request TAT by name. During TAT's second month of retail availability in Ohio, the company continues its promotional initiatives targeted towards legal age smokers, including a digital marketing campaign for TriTAT landing page, which is this landing page right here. There it is, as well as an out-of-home media campaign on gasoline pump displays, which was launched at 1,087 Ohio gas stations earlier this week. In-house sales efforts led by the company have continued to garner new store placements for TAT in new parts of Ohio, its initial market in the United States. Even in the early stages of the launch of TAT in Q4 2020, legal age smokers across the United States exhibited enthusiasm about the product. In the company's November 6, 2020 press release, it was announced that nearly one-third of all visitors to the TriTAT landing page submitted confirmed requests for a sample pack of TAT, a conversion rate that is considered exceptional by industry standards. In a press release dated January 12, 2021, the company also announced that the menthol variety of TAT was the first to be sold out and reordered by tobacco retailers. As tobacco retailers in Ohio continue to reorder TAT, the company is confident that it can keep and gain market share by scaling its current commercialization efforts. Once the TAT online store is launched, that is going to be huge, huge, huge for TAT. The company believes the ability to sell TAT directly to legal age smokers could accelerate adoption of TAT as a replacement for tobacco cigarettes. Wow. Huge news. Let's see what SETI says. After about six weeks of selling all three varieties of TAT in retail in Ohio, we have had the opportunity to garner some very insightful data about how it has performed among legal age smokers in our initial market. Aside from glowing feedback, we have received about TAT between anecdotes from stores, online reviews, and comments sent directly to us. The most meaningful indicator of our success so far is the product velocity. I agree 100%. For stores that have stocked TAT for at least three weeks, more than half of them have placed reorders, many of which are far larger quantities than their original order. That is huge. Congratulations, TAT. I mean, you work so hard, you got to enjoy it once in a while. 
that's huge. That is a huge accomplishment. Congratulations, TAT, TAT management, TAT marketing team on the success so far. This is exactly what I want to hear. I'm sure this is exactly what our investors all over the world that are holding TAT want to hear. Our community members want to hear about TAT lifestyle and wellness. Wow. I believe this demonstrates that the collective sum of our efforts are having the intended effect. Much of 220. 2020 was spending perfecting TAT and beyond tobacco, procuring manufacturing at the right price, laying down infrastructure for distribution and sales, and strategizing marketing initiatives targeted towards legal age smokers in the United States. These reorders show that we are gaining momentum in 2021, and we intend to pick up even more steam as we continue to add more points of sale and prepare to launch our online store, which can avail TAT to legal age smokers in dozens of states besides Ohio. Huge for TAT. Game changer. Chief Revenue Officer Tim Corkum commented, out of all of the tobacco category products I have worked with, TAT is an outliner in terms of the level of demand it has had in the early stages. I have launched dozens of new tobacco brands across Canada, as well as in the Caribbean. And while many of the new products were reorders by retailers in the first several weeks on the market, None of them were reordered by anywhere near 60% of stores that initially carried them. Huge. I believe that our patient, methodological, and disciplined approach to bringing TAT to the USD 814 billion global tobacco industry has contributed to the strong early stage performance, and I have confidence that we could replicate these outcomes both in Ohio and in other markets where we may introduce TAT in the future. Boom. Huge news for TAT Lifestyle and Wellness. This is what you want to hear. And there's a crazy thing happening right now in the world. There's an article right now about this gentleman here who has like taken over the stock market, Keith Gill, who is one of the guys, I guess, behind the whole GameStop Reddit mania. He spoke to the Wall Street Journal and I saw this article and I was reading it and I was just like fascinated about what's happening in the stock market and how this is like completely like taken over the entire stock market. Right. And like, how could this possibly take over the stock market? But I was shocked because they showed Keith Gill's personal, his personal picks and TAT, T-A-A-T and T-O-B-A-F among some other picks that we are talking about in our community happened to be on his list. Now, I don't know if that's his list 100%. It was in the Wall Street Journal. There's a chance that Keith Gill and the Wall Street Bets community gets behind TAT lifestyle and wellness. That could be a huge catalyst for TAT. I'm not saying it is, but there is in this article, it shows a notepad. And on that notepad, to my surprise, it showed TAT lifestyle and wellness. To my surprise, it literally had TAT. Love to know what you guys think. Huge news for TAT. This is a company that could potentially change the world and has been a huge winner for our community already. And I believe it's just getting started. Huge news. Everybody loves TAT that I've heard of. And 60% of tobacco retailers who have carried TAT for three or more weeks have placed reorders, huge news for TAT Lifestyle and Wellness. And then I saw this article in the Wall Street Journal, love to know if you guys see what I seen, but they literally show Keith Gill's, what it looks like Keith Gill's notepad. And he has a list of picks and Nokia is one of them. And obviously they've been talking about Nokia. And another one of those picks is TAT. It boggled my mind when I saw it, but I'm doing my best investigative reporting to try to get you guys every bit of information I can and I'm reading this and I'm, you know, can't believe what's happening in the market. And then all of a sudden I see TAT and I wasn't expecting that. So love to know what you guys think. Did you see what I see? Do you agree with this? Do you, what do you think about this? Do you think it means anything? If there's smoke, is there fire? Do you think this will lead to anything? Um, love to know what you guys think. This is huge news for TAT. Love to know what you guys think about the news. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. Always invest in the best.
the best is blessed. Speak to your financial advisor. Chances are they're going to say, where'd you get these picks? And then you could say, my boy, Rich. They're going to say, Rich has got some good picks. It's true. I hear it every day. I'm not making this up. Like it's, it's true. You can go to tagglobal.com and see a video with the CEO Seti, who I should be interviewing soon, actually. And once again, this Wall Street Journal article, there was uh, a little cryptic notepad with some of Keith Gill's picks and Tat was on the on the notepad to my surprise. So love to know what you guys think about that. Comment on the video. Your boy Richard Mercy be live and I'm out. You're not winning. You're not watching. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. Have a great weekend. Crazy times in the market. Glad we in it. To win it is your boy Rich. I'm old. Peace.